Kelly were on the affirmative side to argue that felons should not be able to vote anymore. John Locke, the philosoph famous philosopher, uh, once said that when you're an American citizen, you, you, you sign a sort of social contract uh, to behave. And, and, uh, and there's some, um, accountability with your behavior. When someone who violates another person's rights to life, liberty, and property forfeit, forfeits his own rights to these, society can legitimately punish that person and remove those rights. The criminal has broken that social uh, contract and violated the trust of his fellow citizens. These, uh, these crimes that fel uh, the, the felons commit are serious crimes. 61% of them are robberies, according to violent uh, felons in large urban cities. 51% uh, of them are murders and manslaughter, and 47% are aggravated assaults, and 36% are forcible rapes. Um, prison is meant for felonies to lose your rights. According to uh, Jonathan Aiken on uh, prisoners don't care about their right to vote, the main point of prison is to sentence it to show the offender and society uh, criminal, that criminal behavior results in loss of freedom and most of their rights. That's part of the punishment. There's consequences to becoming a felon. Felons lose many of their civil rights. <clears throat> and the right to run for government, office, join the military, and the vote, the right to vote can be taken away. They also, may be, uh, they also lose their uh, driver's licenses and, and through suspension, or, and, uh, and they can revoke that. Also, when you're signing up, when you're filling out an application for the job, the first one of the, the, one of the main questions is there, have you ever been convicted of a felony? So if you can't get a job with a felony and they give you, they expect you to give you the right to vote. A lot of these guys are lifetime criminals, prior arrest. Seventy percent of violent criminals have been arrested previously. Seventy-three percent of those convicted of robbery, assault, and uh, and arrest record. Sixty-seven of the murderers and fifty-three percent of rapists. Repeat offenders. They're in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and out. And that's been two thirds, sixty-eight percent, according to uh, percent of release uh, uh, prisoners returning to incarceration. Uh, they're in and out of jail. So what do you do? You arrest them, and then they do their uh, their sentence, and then you give them the right to vote again. And then you arrest them again, which you know, 80, 68 percent of them get arrested again. You want to take it away again? And then they're they're going to do the sentence. They're going to come out and give them the they're right back, and then they're going to get arrested again, and you're going to take it away again. It's ridiculous. Back and forth, back and forth. Because the stats say they're going to get arrested again. 52% of offenders who return to prison for serious crimes and technical violations, they don't follow the rules after prison. Uh, according to the Daily Reader, uh, victims can't regain what is taken away from them. They're, they're acting like nothing happened. In many cases, wherever the victim has lost cannot be regained. They expect, prisoners expect to come out of jail like nothing happened. It doesn't work that way. Uh, just like John Locke says, there is accountability. Thank you.